Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to um, convert the free uh, planner stickers that I offer on my website into digital stickers that you can use in your digital planner in your GoodNotes app. Um, I actually don't currently use GoodNotes. I am about to switch over to it because I've been watching all these YouTube videos about digital planning and GoodNotes just seems really awesome. But anyway, I've messed around with it tonight and have um, watched a couple videos and kind of learned how to do this. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, you'll need a couple of apps in addition to the GoodNotes app in order to do this, um, but they're totally free in the App Store. The first is PDF to Image and the second is Magic Eraser and I will provide a link to those in this blog post and in the YouTube video description. So um, look out for those. And also, um, I'm going to show you how to do it exclusively on your iPad. There are other ways that you can get the files onto your iPad if you prefer. Um, you could download the files on your computer and unzip the files and um, then email them to yourself or airdrop them to your iPad. But I don't like to switch back and forth between devices, so I have found a way to just do it completely on my iPad. Um, so anyway, um, let's get started. I hope you guys will be able to understand what I'm clicking on um, since I'm not filming my hands and everything. It's just my iPad screen. Um, I don't have the technology to film my whole screen and my hands because um, I'm new to this whole tutorial thing. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but anyway, here we go. Um, I'm going to select the planner stickers section of my freebie library. Um, and I've already entered the password, so it's saved in my browser, so this automatically comes up for me. And for this tutorial, I'm going to do these Netflix and craft uh, stickers right here. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click the link to download it. And I'm going to save this to my files, so I want to click on More and Save to Files. And I'm going to save it under my iCloud Drive under this Planner Stickers folder that I have and click on Add. And now I'm going to open this up in my um, iCloud Drive. And um, that folder was already open, but anyway, here's my folders. Um, and I'm going to click on the file and click Preview Content. And now, um, in order to convert these to an image, because right now it's just a PDF, I'm going to click the box in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to select copy to PDF to image and that's going to open this app and it looks like it doesn't do anything at all but actually it just instantly converts the PDF to an image and saves it to your photos so you're done with that step and now I need to open up um, the magic eraser app and before I do this I'm just going to let you know Sometimes it makes you watch an ad um, because it's a totally free app. Um, it's not a big deal, but it might cut off the audio if it does make me watch an ad. So, let's see. Okay, it didn't make me watch an ad this time. So, anyway, here are all my photos. Um, and I'm going to click on the Netflix and craft photos. And um, if you're doing this with a sheet of stickers that has all different phrases all over the sheet, you won't have to crop it. And even in this case, um, you don't necessarily have to crop it. Um, just to make the tutorial shorter, I am going to crop this um, image just to be that sticker in the upper left corner. Um, but I will tell you that when you do this, it does decrease the quality of the sticker a little bit because these are images that are meant to be printed and aren't really meant to be cropped or edited. Um, so it will decrease the quality, but when you're using them in your planner, you shrink them down small enough anyway, where you can't really tell that it affects the quality. Um, but I did just want to let you know in case you wanted to use one of these as a giant sticker for whatever reason. Um, you would need to not crop the image and just edit the whole picture. Anyway, um, I've cropped that, so I'm going to select done in the upper right corner. And uh, now here's our image. And in order to erase the background, all you have to do is click on the white areas. So um, 
there's most of it and now I just need to click on all the areas in between um, the letters and um, it'll erase all of those white areas and another cool thing about this app is that you can zoom in um, so for sticker sheets where you're not uh, where you haven't just cropped an image and it's not this large image it is a little bit harder to see the white areas um, so you can zoom in as much as you need to to make sure that you don't miss any um, areas and if you mess up like I'm about to mess up on purpose to show you um, and accidentally delete a word it's not a big deal there's an undo arrow up here um, in the toolbar that you can hit and it'll bring it all right back um, I'm zoomed in a little too much so I'm getting rid of all of these white areas and I think that's got it um yep all the white is gone so now I want to save this so I'm going to click the box in the upper right corner and I want to save the PNG image with the transparent background so I'm going to click on that and click high resolution and now um, I want to open my GoodNotes app and um, I've already got here's my stickers notebook that I made for this tutorial and it's already on a blank page um, so I um, want to upload that into GoodNotes so I'm gonna click the plus sign click on image photos and it'll look like a black square because um, you've edited out the background and it's a transparent background um but it's not really a black square so you'll click on that and there is my image and um I'm, you can size it down as small as you need to and see how you know when it's kind of big since i cropped it and zoomed in on it it kind of took away from the quality but as it shrinks down i mean you can't even tell um that the quality was reduced in that step but, you know, like I said, if you don't crop the image, it won't take away from the quality at all. And, yeah, that's how you turn those files into a sticker. Um, I did want to show you one more thing. For images that don't have the same sticker over and over all over the whole page, um, if you want to turn those into individual stickers, here's um, where I was starting to do that earlier with my stickers from the Summer is Coming blog post. Um, what you have to do is you have to upload that image into GoodNotes and then click on the image and select crop and I'm gonna do the freehand crop um, you can do a rectangle crop um, but these are kind of pieced together where it's easier to just do a freehand crop and a freehand crop is where you would just draw around whatever you want to crop so let's do it for um, the month of May right here I'm just gonna draw a circle or whatever this is more like an oval I guess shape around it and um, then click on done and it's turned it into a sticker and now I can shrink that down and move it aside and um, and I just have to keep doing that over and over I have to upload the image again um, select crop freehand a circle around the next part that I want to turn into a sticker select done and there's my April sticker and um, yeah it's really tedious but you know once you've done it it's over you don't have to do it again you can copy these stickers as many times as you need to and yeah um, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys are now able to use my stickers in your digital planner. And uh, just feel free to contact me on my website if you have any questions at all. Thanks.